Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work, and today we are talking about 10 knives with strong detents. Now, saying it has a strong detent doesn't mean like it has the most amazing action, doesn't mean it has the best action. In fact, there's a lot of knives I could pull out that have better detents than the knives on this list. It just means they have a strong detent. Maybe a little stronger than you'd expect from the knife itself. Now, heavy detents are a little different than strong detents, in my opinion. A heavy detent more means more, um, maybe a little less strong, or maybe the flipper tab is a little more comfortable, so it just feels like you're putting a little more strength into your finger when you deploy it. And that the strong detents are more of the very clicky you can really feel that detent ball click in and when it pops out you can really feel it a lot of times they have strong lock bars not always but a lot of times but in this case this is the kershaw bare knuckle now originally when this knife first came out these things had really bad deadlock deadlock meaning if you were holding the lock bar or touching the lock bar when deploying it would lock it out meaning you could not open it you would skip off of the flipper tab and you just couldn't do it this one is well broken in but it did originally have horrible deadlock um you know i just learned not to put my fingers on the lock bar you know and keep them back here when i deploy it but now i can totally do it because you know it's just broken in but it is a thing. But when the, the lock bar detent is nice and strong, then you add your finger strength on top of the detent ball, pushing the detent ball into the detent hole. It makes it impossible to open. But very nice action. You can hear that detent ball. Let's get to the next one. Next up, the Kaiser Swag Swayback. This is a button lock, so you, you know it's surprising that it has a sh as strong of a detent as it does. I would have never thought that this knife would have such a clicky detent. But it does, and it makes it to where this thing really flies out when you use the flipper tab, and it does not have any detent lash, which a lot of flipper uh, button lock knives do, so very well tuned, very snappy, and yeah, but the thumb studs are still very, very useful, and you can see how snappy they become with that strong detent. Next up, we have... The Hinder XM18 3-inch. Now, there are a lot of Hinders with strong detents. Possibly the strongest detent I ever felt was on a Hinder XM24. I have a few of them that are all very well tuned, and they're not um, like crazy strong as some of the other ones I felt. This one does have a pretty strong detent, but even though it still has the fuller that you can use and the thumb studs still work, you just want to keep your fingers off that lock bar, but the hinder also has kind of a pokey flipper tab. So, you know, having a strong detent with a pokey flipper tab can be troublesome. In this case, it still works out just fine, but it does have a strong snappy detent. You can actually hear it when I pull it out. Next up. The Kubi Anteater. Now, this is um, a bit of a overbuilt um, knife, especially for a hawkbill blade, karambit style blade. You can really hear that detent. Very, very powerful detent. Very smooth. It almost seems like a magnet is suck, sucking that, that detent in. It's very, very strong. Now, it does have kind of a pokey flipper tab, but if you lay your finger tab right over the top, it's also extremely snappy. A very overbuilt hawkbill blade. But yeah, very strong detent. Next up 
we have, and these are in no particular order, just 10, 10 of them pulling them out. Maybe the first one or the last one, but all of them are kind of just mixed up. The Quest Custom Gent. Now, this knife, you can thumb flick it, but you can't use that hole for the reverse flick. But the detent is incredibly strong. I don't know about incredible, but it's very strong. But the flipper tip, luckily, is very comfortable, especially if you use the light switch method, because you can't use the push button. It just doesn't allow it. Now, it on the other, but when you but <laughs> when you use the light switch, it works very very well. This one's kind of a little bit more on the heavier side, more than a strong detent. But it made the list. Next up, we have the Viper Odina, or Odina, what was it? Odina, Odina, something like that. Odina. Anyways, the Viper Odina is a Vox design. And you wouldn't really expect it to have a strong detent because it has a thumb hole, which usually for thumb holes, they need them to be a little bit on the lighter side. In this case, it is a very strong detent, but because the hole is well placed, you get a lot of leverage on it and it tends to work out really good. You do have to have a pretty good reverse flick, but once you break that detent, man, it really flies. But you can hear how snappy that detent is. Awesome, awesome knife. Next up, we have the Monterey Bay Knives EZC 2.0. This is a Ray Laconico knife and it is an integral. And yeah, it has a pretty strong detent. Now the flipper tab is pretty sharp too, so that kind of doesn't really mix and you can get some fatigue after a while. Um, this thing will chew you up a little bit because it's so sharp, but it winds up working out just fine with, you know, as long as you're not flipping it all day. But yeah, strong detent. It doesn't sound like it when you put it back in uh, the detent, but you can kind of see it. Monter or Monterey Bay Knives 2.0. EZZ, EZC 2.0. Dang it. <laughs> Next up, we have the Civivi Riffle. You wouldn't think that this thing would have a strong detent considering it has the reverse flicking hole that works so good. I mean, it's really not that bad. The flipper tab is a little sharp right here in the corner. but And I did hear a couple people say that theirs were on the lighter side. Mine is not on the lighter side. Mine's actually pretty strong but well-tuned, and it winds up working out really good. I actually enjoy that it has the, the strength of a, the detent it has. Next up, the Wii Vapor. Very, very strong detent. Now, this one originally, i never seen anybody in any review that was able to reverse flick it. Now, ours we've had for a while, so it has broken in to where I can reverse flick it and thumb flick it. But originally, no, there was no way I could do that. Maybe I just got a little stronger over time with my reverse flick, but it actually has pretty cool acoustics. The flipper tab is really comfortable and really nice. They actually give you the opportunity to push button from back here or light switch from up top. So. It has such a cool sound, though. It's not drop shutty at all. Extremely light blade. You 
You can even hear it when it pulls out. Very strong. Very snappy. Very nice. Well made. Wee knife. Next up, the Hinder Half Track. Now, this one does not have any jimping on the flipper tab. Luckily, the, the flipper tab is pretty comfortable and the landing zone is really good because it winds up working out perfectly. But the detent is so strong, you can't use the fuller at all. You can pinch it, but even then, it's pretty strong to do. I can't even pull it out right here, which winds up making it extremely snappy. Very nice. Last but not least, now this one has a heavy and strong detent all around the board, every which way. The USMC Fighter from Medford. And it's because of this incredibly strong lock bar. Now, if I was just going to sit here and reverse flick it, um, I can't, unless if I add a little pop to my wrist. Eventually, I think I will be able to. The thumb flick, I can get very strong detent, and you can hear it from that lock bar, man. That lock bar is so strong, which is going to add the strength to the detent. But yeah, I can reverse flick it. I just got to pop a little bit of wrist as of right now, but it is still breaking in. Flipper tab, very jimpy. And um, you do have to have a lot of pull strength to get it. It's not for uh, a weak flipper, I should say. You definitely have to have some, have some power into the flip. And it works really good. But yeah, very, very strong, strong lock bar, which in return gives you a very strong detent. You kind of got to ha have it because it is a phosphor bronze knife, so it's not on bearings. And it's such a heavy, big brute of a knife that you'd need it. And it makes sense because of how strong, you know, it needs to be to be the kind of knife it needs to be. <laughs> needs to be, needs to be. You know, it's supposed to be a very, very hard use, tough, strong knife. So you kind of want that really strong lock bar for or to add to the strength of this knife. So there you guys go. 10 knives with very strong detents. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.